Oh, you guys ain't together. What up, though? <laughs> we out here, baby. Cash Tech. partnership stuff and then giving back to your community so Jalen was one of the first football athletes to sign with us when we first started early last year and we wanted to make sure he was one of the first athletes we catered to when we thought about giving back to the community doing camps and stuff like this and you know he gives us a bandwidth trust to you know try new things and this is something we really wanted to do so we're glad that we we're able to make it happen and you know have amazing platforms like yourself here man okay Peter and then how could a student sign up for the program I mean, we, we tend to look for student athletes. Um, I normally try to say if, if you're doing what you're supposed to do, we'll find you, right? Like, if, if you're looking for us, I mean, we're down to have a conversation, but if you're doing what you're supposed to do, like, we'll find you and, and reach out. Yeah. How to Jalen and you posting this camp? What is, how is that? What do you think the kids feel being able to participate in? Yeah, I mean, you know, we're 224, right? So it's like when you think about gun violence, these are things that are starting at very young ages, right? So we want to make sure that, like, these students learn at a very young age that, like, if you ever have any situation that comes up, that, like, consider options like football, right, to, like, release that energy. And we don't want kids kind of just sitting and feeling like they're alone. We want them to know that individuals like Jalen are here and are aware of, like, what's going on in the community, even though he's doing this thing on the field. So we hope that this event really uplifts that, that awareness, you know? What does gun violence mean to you? Um, I think gun violence is really just the senseless use of firearm, right? Um, obviously, there is perspectives of uh, protection and whatnot, but you want to make sure that they're only being used when they need to be. And kind of like some of our speakers spoke to, you want to make sure that the kids are aware of like what to do if a situation comes up, or that they need to like call their parents, call the police, or just de-escalate a situation that can save a life. Um, it's kind of again what it means to me, especially through an event like this. You know. Okay. Thank you, Peter. Once yes, again, sir. this is up the scope pod. We're signing up.
wanted to know, how does your son being able to host a camp, how does that make you feel? I'm very proud of Jalen. He always liked to give back, and this was his project, and I think he did a, a good job. Um, he, he loves doing things for the youth, and uh, with all this violence going on in our city, that's why we decided to do an anti-gun violence camp. Okay, and so from seeing your son become a, a baby to a child, and then to where he is now, how does that make you feel? It makes me feel pretty good. Um, Jalen was always a good kid. He always did good in school. And he's been in football since he was eight years old, and he's always loved the game. Okay, and then what does gun violence mean to you? Um, gun violence means to me uh, that we should talk to our youth about violence and about guns, about staying away from guns if they see them because you can get hurt. Okay. Thank you, Ms. Kwan. You're welcome. Very nice interview. And once again, this is Up the Scope Pod, and we're signing out. Thank you. Important part of the ball game. What's that? Defense. Defense. If they don't score, you can't. They can't win. Defense can score. Defense can shut them down. Defense is where it's at. Where my big dogs at the line again? Where the line at? Let's go to the end zone. Let's go. What's up, man? Off the score in the bin out here at Cash Tech today, man. I got two of uh, two legends that's been doing some great things, you know, not just in Detroit, but also around the world. Um, we're gonna start to my left and right of who we got today. Go ahead, brother. We got Peter E. the CEO of Founder of Tycoon Sports. Where can they find you at, bro? Um, social media, Peter. E. W. I. W. U. H. Is the spelling of the last name. It's Nigerian. Hey, he got the whole thing for you, my boy. And we, everybody, you know, ain't nobody a stranger to this guy to my right, man. We all know who this is. He makes himself very well known anytime we pop up anywhere. But go ahead, for those who don't know who you are, our new listeners, our new viewers, who are you, my brother? My name is Nick O'Shea, uh, CEO and founder extra point solutions um, you can find me on social media on instagram at, at nick o'shea 10 n-i-c-k-o-s-h-e-a-1-0 you all good you're all good or uh, you can find my business at x-t-r-a point solutions yeah, you got it here man tycoon extra point you know saying national sports group up to score man this is just dive right into it man i know we y'all both busy you know we run around got the beautiful kids out here beautiful weather out here at cast tech Right here on Second Ave, they call it. You know, just talk a little bit about you know your 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 company, man, Tycoon Sports, and what do y'all do, man? Yeah, man. So we are actually one of the first black name, image, and likeness marketing agencies. And essentially, what that means is we work with student athletes and help them leverage their name, image, and likeness. For those who are kind of already familiar with marketing, you can kind of consider influencer marketing, but student athlete edition. So what we do is we partner them up with their favorite brands. Um, we've done over a hundred partnerships in our first year with some of your favorite brands like CVS, Ruffles, NBC Sports. Fandango, the list goes on. You can check what we're doing out on socials. Um, and then on this front, we definitely try to make sure that we have a good balance of community give back as opposed to just like straight NIL deals and stuff like that. So we want to make sure that student athletes are obviously get into the cheddar, which we make sure that we help you do it for sure. But we want to make sure that you're involved in your community and we're your front facing of, of efforts like this when it comes to like anti-gun violence and stuff, you know, so yeah. That's nice, man. I know my partner was telling me, man, you was out to the BET Awards, man. How was that, man? That was great man um yeah i live in los angeles and i moved there just because it's the hub of entertainment so like award shows like the bt awards i, I frequently i'm contracted to support what they're doing um on the red carpet man so i've been to um five bt awards now so it's been very fortunate i've just been in la for two years so it's definitely been a blessing to just be there and be able to maneuver in those spaces you know meet amazing people establish amazing relationships so it's been great man that's what's up man so it sounds like you and you and you and nick had the same similar you know avenue man and nick how, how, how you know this good fellow man so i was actually fortunate enough me and peter went to uh, college together we went to morgan state together um the last time me and peter talked before we uh started our agencies was him tracking me down 
to finish my schoolwork, to be honest with you. He was kind of the leader in the class. I was a cat sitting in the back of the class slacking sometimes. So he was uh, always looking out for me, making sure I got my work done. And then uh, we reconnected about a year and a half ago. Um, talked about, you know, getting into the sports marketing world and making a difference in these communities. And um, we kind of both ended up going in our separate directions. But now, uh, full circle, you know, we work together on a lot of things. Um, his, one of his biggest clients happens to be here, Jalen Thompson, where I'm based in Detroit. One of my biggest clients, Aaliyah Gales, happens to be based out near him in L.A. So we kind of, you know, are able to work together a lot and um, just looking forward to more collaborations, man. Man, that's that's pretty dope, man. It's like, like you said, y'all went different directions, but usually when you go different directions, you know, on the interstate and the freeway, you usually get back to the main roads, right? So y'all so y'all went different directions, but y'all back on the same path because you yeah. cause we're here today. Yep. And y'all doing it good, man, because these kids need great representation, man. I tell it all the time, man. These kids and these, actually it's more so the parents and the kids also got to understand what they're getting into. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's a lot of people that, that take advantage of these kids just because of their name and their image. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of these kids no, don't like that. You know what I'm saying? See how I did that? Yeah. But yeah, man. You know? But, but you know, with Extra Point, you know, and Tycoon, I feel like with, with y'all two, what y'all got, and the other people that we are associated with, that I'm blessed to be part of the network, you know what I'm saying, to, to, to help help our young people grow. Um, like I said, it's not just for the young, young black kids or the young the young uh, the kids out in the rural areas and stuff, man. It's for all the kids that give to give their dream a shot, you know. Yep. And you take you take that extra point, man. You go with it, you know that tycoon. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. A little season in there, a little little tycoon with an extra point, and we in there. Yes, but but this gets going. What y'all got coming up next with tycoon tycoon sports and who's some of y'all your notable um, athletes that you got? Yeah, man. Um, to kind of just even give some background context as to where the idea even came from, like when I was at Morgan State, a lot of student athletes um, used to approach me with different opportunities or just different ways they can make money, right? And sometimes some of those ideas were things that can get them in trouble, whether that was like scapping, scamming or tramming. But like, you know, I'm, I have a very extensive marketing experience where like a lot of the guys know to like prompt me with questions. However, like, you know how you have those homies who like they have a bad idea, but like they pitch it to you like it's good because you're, you're smart or like they feel like you'll help them bring it to life kind of thing like it was a lot of conversations like that with student athletes so it kind of just sparked my interest on like how I can support right and obviously um, I don't necessarily at least not yet don't want to be an agent but I know that like my bread and butter is marketing and helping these athletes build a personal brand so that's kind of what I've dedicated myself to to obviously not make sure that they're getting like brand deals but then also just be a part of their community and then also have a personal brand that can go with them even after college and whatnot you know what I mean so like in terms of what's coming next really just pushing that initiative like we're going to be working with a lot of bigger athletes um we just signed this athlete at a uh, unc she's a basketball player maria gakbang um we also have some players at on the track university of pittsburgh kyle state michigan state obviously morgan state we're, we're across the map and we're definitely going to be incorporating tech into what we're doing um, with some applications that are going to come out to help these student athletes solidify their personal brands and, and more so we're looking forward to some dope stuff in the near future for sure man Oh man, you got a lot going on, yeah. boss. So you coming from LA out here to the D, man. Ah, right, you in a good spot, bro. Like I said, as I told you in the back of the end zone over there, man. Anything that National Youth Sports Group and Up to Score Podcast can do for you, man, we here to help, man. So what's up, Nick, man? What you got coming up next, bro? Uh, next weekend we actually have a Peyton Harvey Cheer Camp. Mm -hmm. um, it'll be at Safe Play Detroit on the east side, off Seven Mile and Van Dyke. Um, Totally free camp. We'll have between 100 and 150 girls there, um, giving away cash scholarships, all types of stuff, um, back to school supplies, all types of stuff. So we're, we got a lot planned for next weekend. Um, looking forward to seeing you guys there. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm just looking forward to keep keep serving these student athletes in um, in the best way we can. You know, there's a lot of people in our industry, unfortunately, who um, you know they follow personal agendas. And obviously, business is business is real, but. I think it, it, there's a, a big need for people like myself and Peter, Extra Point and Tycoon, um, you know, a big space for us to get involved in this industry and do things um, the right way, do things the athlete's way and, you know, help them use their platform to make a difference where they want to make a difference. Hey, and that's how you up the skull right there. And that's how that's you that me and Nick wanted to chime on too like I don't know if he had brought it up but we initially were gonna collaborate and, and launch Tycoon Sports you know mm -hmm. what I mean and I think that as we grew like for me honestly transparently I'm a type of dude I'd be liking to do a lot at once and I know like Nick is the kind of guy where he'd like to take what he can manage you know what I'm saying however you know as you can see we're here still collaborating and, and that's kind of like the message of me bringing that up um, you know for whoever might be watching you might have somebody who has a similar business to you or somebody who you're honestly probably gonna even start a business with 
with, but it's okay to diverge and diversify your network and still collaborate with them. You know what I'm saying? And like Nick supported with this, obviously getting you guys here and other platforms and resources that help make this camp a dope experience. Though we're gonna, you know, start this together and you know, extra points is killing it right now. You know what I'm saying? With the brand names we're getting, and we still have phone calls, 45 minutes an hour where we're just bouncing ideas, giving each other game. You know what I'm saying? And it's all love. And I definitely wanted to like utilize this moment in this platform to uplift that. You know what I'm saying? And I like to call it um, co-opetition, where instead of like you're competing with your competitor, you collaborate with them, yeah. right? So you cooperate yeah. with them. So it's actually real words. I ain't yeah, make yeah. it up. Yeah. So it's like that's that's yeah, kind of what yeah, we're doing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And no matter the color, no matter what it is, like we, we're still bros. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. I feel like um, like what we're doing right now, and because you know he's more familiar with this market than I am. I'm initially from Los Angeles, so it's like having a resource like him, having a friend like him to be in, in our corner to support. Like, yo, this is how Detroit works. You should do this. You should do that. Call this person. Get that person. Bring in this person. You know what I mean? Um, it's, it's really what it's all about, man. So when I think of Detroit, I think of Extra Point Solutions. You know what I'm saying? I think of Cast Tech. I think of Jalen. Um, so it's, it's all some dope stuff that I, that I really wanted to point out there, man. You know what I'm saying? That's dope, man. That's dope, man. As I always say, man, there's McDonald's on every block. You feel me? <laughs> they serve how many burgers a day? <laughs> Anybody can so it's definitely an open open space for us, man. And now that my eyes just laid on, you know, so shout out to Bobby Christian out there, man. Vote for Bobby Christian, man. Um, but yeah, we're gonna wrap this up, man. I know we busy, you know, so we gotta take care of these babies out here. Like they doing some sprints, they got the lineman yeah, doing sprints out here. My bad, if I'm out of the, my bad if I'm tuned out of the interview. I'm watching this talent on the field, man. We looking for the next NIL deal right here on this field. Bro. Hey, come on, yeah. man. That's what we are. Solutions tycoon, we here. We hey, listen, an OD game is out there looking for. That next deal yeah, too. Yes. What we got next up at extra point too. Some OD game stuff. Look hey. out for that on the way too. Hey, listen, man. That gaming, the streaming's coming out. You know, saying those athletes that that think they are gamers, that have that name, that image, and that likeness that a brand can attach to. Holler at us, man. Tycoon, extra point, OD gaming, up the scope, NYSG. We out. Hey, keep doing yeah. work with good people. Good people. Collaboration with yeah. good people. Keep doing yeah. work with good people. Keep doing good yeah. things. Keep being yeah. you guys. All that up the skull.